Hey guys, it's Eric. Uh, welcome. This is uh, Easy Score Golf Card version 2.0. Uh, I think you're going to like it. I've been tinkering around with features. And, uh, so in this version, I've added ability to save your scores. I maintain cumulative stats. You can enter holes, uh, notes, um, and, and uh, a whole bunch of other things, if, which I'll demonstrate here shortly. So I'm going to start backwards and go forwards. And by backwards, I mean I'm gonna, I have a round in progress that you can see on the scorecard. And uh, I'll just finish up that last hole, and then I'll show you some of the other features. So nice thing about the app is it's fat finger friendly. So by that, what I mean, I minimize the dependency on the keyboard because um, it's really hard to see, especially when we're out on a go golf course. So it's very uh, tap oriented. So the best way to learn the app is just tap anywhere on the scorecard. Uh, so the first place I'm going to tap is my name, Eric, up top. And uh, this allows me to change my name or um, the, my partner's name. And uh, I can maintain what I want to track for uh, this round. So right now I have everything selected. Um, so if I want to deselect something, I just tap on like sand saver fairway hit or tap back on uh, to enable or disable. Um, and so then for golfer two, that's a default name. Um, so if I'm playing Bob, I can correct it here. Just put in Bob here. And for Bob, I'm not just keeping track of strokes. Um, again, this can be configured per round as need be. And uh, we're not playing Bomb, we're playing Bob. So let's correct that. And then you, you can also put in little emojis. Well, as you can see, I, I try to minimize the keyboard, that's why, because it's really hard to type in there. So I'll just say done here. You'll see his score or his name reflected up on top there. Uh, so the other thing I'm going to tap on is a uh, hole number nine. Um, I can take the whole column all the way down. I'll click, uh, click on nine. Now what this does, it gives me the stats for this hole, my stats. So I've played this 13 times. So, so once you start saving scores, um, I'm maintaining rolling averages, uh, per course and per hole. Uh, so you can see on this, uh, hole, I, uh, average about 5.8 strokes per hole. Uh, it's, you know, pretty close to bogey hole for me. Uh, average putts are 2.0 and uh, greens and regulation, fairway hits. And think it gives me a breakdown of uh, pogies and bars and double bogeys. So uh, also indicates I have notes for this hole. So if I click on the notes, uh, these are notes I've already entered. Um, and again, you can change them, add, delete. Uh, again, you can maintain it per course, per hole. So on this course, is, uh, this is my league night on Tuesday night. Uh, this is a hole that if you stay right, you're good. You got a three wood to 100 yards to the green. Uh, but if you go left, you're, you're shooting in the trees. So I like to remind myself to stay right, right, right. And uh, so note taken. Uh, so <clears throat> me and Bob finished that final hole and I uh, cooperated with my notes. My ball went right. I clicked, put it up there on second shot 100 yards from the green and, and up and down. So um, this is a good hole for me. I'll just mark green and regulation, yes. Fairway hit, yes. Uh, no sand save. Uh, no penalty strokes. Um, at this point, it knows I'm at the end of the round. I'm only playing nine today. Uh, it's asking me if I want to save it. And again, you don't have to save it now, which I'm not. You can hit the icon top on top right there. A second one over disc icon to save any time. So typically, you'd say yes, but you know sometimes when you're in league play, you'll synchronize your scores with the other team so um so let me go ahead and mark bob up i'm gonna click on the cell um nine ninth hole under bob and uh for bob i'm just maintaining strokes so i'll see a little dial selector here so i think you can see it's very uh tap oriented very easy to use and uh and then for bob i can also tap on his score and i can see the breakdown for this round um he's had 44 percent pars three bogeys and, and so on uh, he did win three skins. Now, if I click on my score, um, I get additional information because I maintained all those stats. Um, so I'll see my, my putting average with 1.9 average. I had two penalty strokes this round. I had, um, my greens and regulations were pretty good, 55%. That'd be a good round for me. And scramble percent is 25. And astronomical fairway hit. Again, this is all make-believe. And uh, so you'll see that my breakdown of pars and bogeys and two putts. Um, so the good thing is that um, I had six two putts, uh, two one putts, and, and one three putts. So that'd be a good putting round, obviously. 
Um, I would have won three skins or we would have split because he had three skins as well. And uh, I'd won sand save this round. So I'll click on that disc icon to save it. Uh, indicate that yes, it was saved. Um, so now I want you to look at the top left. I got the hamburger icon. That's uh, two buns with the hamburger in the middle. There's three horizontal lines. So I'll click on that little icon. And now I have some um, options available to me. And first of all, I'm going to go to the averages. So this is where I maintain averages per course. So again, I break up the course in segments because there's a front and back and sometimes there's a middle. So and especially if you're, if you're in a league, everything's based on uh, what segment you're playing and your, your scoring average and handicap. So uh, so you'll see uh, for El Dorado, I'll click down. That's the one we just played. Um, I can look down and I can see my stats for the round. So my average score on that, um, that nine is 42.8. Uh, my average putts are 2.1 and times I've played it 14 times. And it gives me a breakdown of uh, my fairway hits and, and so on. So you can do this for every course. Um, so that's kind of nice. That's uh, and again, it's sort of rolling average. So whenever you save it, I just maintain a rolling average of all the stats that you've collected. Uh, the next thing you can look at is score history. So this would be the raw history of every round. Um, so if you look over to the right, there's a down arrow, and then I can click and, and get a breakdown of my um, score there, kind of raw data there. And if I maintain stats, I'll see them there as well. Um, if you look across the top, um, not very top, you see date, course, holes, that's the headers. So you can click on any of those to sort. So you can sort uh, up and down or down or up. Uh, by default, it's by date, so most recent first. Uh, also, I can click on that final column, which is your score. So you can see a range of scores. Uh, I also, if you go to the right of that, you'll see that little gear icon. If I click on that, I can actually uh, do a kind of selection. So if I only want to look at on my El Dorado scores, I can select course and then I can do a state selection and so on. Uh, so if I do a search here, oops, let's change that to El Dorado and you'll see it just shows me those scores for El Dorado. All right, there's a couple other options. You can clean up data. Uh, so if you enter a course uh, by mistake, you can delete it or if you want to score, delete your scores like by date range and so on. Pretty much any way you want to remove your data uh, allow you to do it um, and then I'll give you a little warning so you know so, so if I did something like this I'd say you know are you sure that's gonna be everything so probably don't want to do that but I'll warn you I'll tell you what you're gonna do so I'm not gonna leave you hanging I'll just say no uh, and then there's a color theme I'll let you go in there um, so you can have different colors for the backgrounds um, but fairway green gets you know that's one I like so I, I would stick with that, but if you like purple, go for it. All right, um, the other thing we do is um, when you start up the app, it, it'll recognize that you saved that round and automatically prompt you if you want to start a new round. Uh, but I also can hit the icon that little on the top right, uh, the circle that with the arrow, I'll click on that icon and this would be a the gesture to initiate a new round. So here, it's gonna ask me for a number of golfers and uh, number of holes, uh, so if you, play 18 for instance uh, what segment are you going to start on 1 through 9 10 18 and uh, you know if you golf for a while you'll know you don't always start on 1 you don't always start on 10 and sometimes uh, these vary so, so you can set that uh, to whatever you're doing whatever you're playing that day um, and then I can select a course so if I just want to keep track of my scores like in version 1 I just say no select no course just maintain the stats or maintain a score you can still do that uh, but if you select a course, I hit next. And so these are courses I've already entered. So there's a little button down there, new course. If you want to enter a new course, you can. Um, or you can just select the course that you've already entered. So I'll enter Pebble Beach. And uh, I'm golfing with uh, who else other than Clint, my hero, Clint Eastwood. So that's on my bucket list. Um, so for Clint, I can maintain putts. So let's say we're just, you say, yeah, yeah, Erica, why don't you keep track of my putts? Uh, kind of interested what, what that's all about this round. And, uh, for me, I'll just, it'll, it'll, it'll remember what I uh, did last time. So let's say, you know, I just want to make it easy. I just want to maintain putts as well. Uh, so at this point we're ready to, ready to go. And, uh, again, I have hold notes. If, you know, I can see my averages, if I ever did play, this would have been my average, um, 
and, and so on. So like a number nine, I have notes on here. Um, and then if I go to score it, it notes I just want to keep track of strokes and putts. So, and for Clint as well. All right, uh, the other thing is that um, if you want to increase, you hit the plus. If you want to decrease, you hit the minus. Okay, so it's, hopefully it's self-explanatory. And uh, I always love comments, so I look forward to any comments, questions, concerns. If you have problems, let me know. Uh, there's a discussion. Um, actually, in this video, you can. there's comments there. Um, I just want to hear from you. And if you like the app, if you like the app, please uh, rate it highly on the App Store and Google Play Store because it really helps me. Um, I put a lot of hours into this app. I haven't uh, charged any money for it, not yet. Um, it's been a labor of love, and, and uh, I really hope you enjoy it. So if you enjoy it, let me know. Uh, if you don't, let me know. And if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, well, keep hitting them straight.